What's up, party people? Okay, let's go over what's going on here. These black and white boxes represent the notes on the keyboard, where we can fix, change, add, and shorten notes like this. Alternatively, I can open the keyboard, record an idea, and fix notes after, like this. Let's take a closer look at shortening notes. At the very top, it ties notes together and then shortens, or if you prefer, gates in fractions of 25. So let's listen to each gate percentage. I'm gonna adjust these three gate sliders here. Pretty funky, huh? All right, let's take a look at finding notes. Watch my two fingers over the keyboard notes to the left. Moving my fingers up will bring me to the lower notes. Moving it down will bring me to the higher notes. Another way to move around and get a handle about what's going on is to see this grid as an octave on a keyboard. To lock in an octave, I'm gonna press the octave zone down button here I'm going to press the octave zone up button now. You see what's happening? The next octave zone is where my notes are. You see? And it goes as far as C7. Next, let's check out sequence mode. Sequence mode specifies how sequence or playback will move through the steps. We're going to start by playing four bars in forward mode, four bars in backwards mode, odd, even, three, and random. Check it out. That was awesome. Okay, lastly I'd like to go over steps. The iPoly 6 is a 64 step sequencer. When loading a new song, it loads at 16 steps. 16 steps is equal to one bar. One bar has four whole beats. Four whole beats sounds like this. One, two, three, four. If we added half beats, which means in between, it'll look like this. And that sounds like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Speaking in steps, this will correspond to playing all odd steps. If we filled all of them, that'll sound like. Now, this one bar, which is 16 steps, is also considered one step zone. And that step zone will repeat over and over until we wish to extend using the step length here. Now, this will require for us to copy everything which is in step zone one over to step zone two, three, and four. Okay, I think that's about it, guys. If you'd like to see more about copying step zones and working the sequencer, please watch Tutorial Mission 1 and the iPoly 6 new recording approach. Thanks for hanging out.